Google Go Programming Language This is a documentary video created for an assignment under the subject called Programming Language Designing and Concepts. These are the creators WND Silva, PDE Pereira, VJA Pereira and ILD Madhushani. What is the purpose of the project? No major system language has emerged in over a decade, but over that time the computing landscape has changed tremendously. Computers are enormously quicker, but the software development is not that faster. Let's go! A first look at Google's Go programming language. What's the origin of the mascot? The mascot and logo were designed by René French, who also designed Glenda, the Plan 9 bunny. The gopher is derived from one she used for a t-shirt design some years ago. The logo and mascot are covered by the Creative Commons Attributes 3.0 license. Go is an attempt to combine the ease of programming of an interpreted, dynamically typed language with the efficiency and safety of a statically typed, compiled language. It also aims to be modern with support for networked and multi-core computing. Finally, it is intended to be fast. It should take at most a few seconds to build a large executable on a single computer. To meet these goals required addressing a number of linguistic issues. Who should use the language? Go is an experiment. The developers hope adventurous users will give it a try and see if they enjoy it. Not every programmer will, but they hope enough will find satisfaction in the approach it offers to justify further development. Is Google using Go internally? Yes. There are now several Go programmers are there in, inside the Google. For instance, the several behind golang.org is a Go program. Why does Go not have generic types? Generics may well be added at some point. The developers of Go don't feel an urgency for them, although they understand some programmers do. Generics are convenient, but they come at a 
cost and complexity in the type system and runtime. They haven't yet found a design that gives value proportionate to the complexity, although they continue to think about it. Meanwhile, Go's built-in maps and slices plus the ability to use the MD interface to construct containers mean, in many cases, it is possible to write code that does what generics would enable, if less, smoothly. This remains an open issue. Why does Go do not have exceptions? The developers of Go believe that coupling exceptions to a control structure is in the try catch finally idiom, result in convoluted code. It also tends to encourage programmers to label too many ordinary errors, such as failing to open a file as exceptions. Go doesn't provide assertions. They are undeniably convenient. Programmers use them as a crutch to avoid thinking about proper error handling and reporting. Proper error handling means that servers continue operations after non-fatal errors instead of crashing. Proper error reporting means that errors are direct and to the point saving the programmer and interpreting a large crash trace. Precise errors are particularly important when the programmer sees if the error is not familiar with the code. Go routine are part of making concurrency easy to use. The idea which has been around for a while is to complex independently executing functions. Core routings really into a set of threads. When a core routine blocks, such as by calling a blocking system call, the runtime automatically moves other core routines on the same operating system threads to a different runnable thread so they won't be blocked. The programmer sees none of this, which is the point the result which we call Go routines can be very cheap unless they spend a lot of time in long running system calls. They cost little more than the memory for the stack. Is Go object oriented or not? Go has types and methods and allows an object-oriented style of programming. There is no type hierarchy. The concept of interface in Go provides a different approach that we believe is easy to use and in some ways more general. There are also ways to embed types in other types to provide something analogs but not identical to subclassing. Moreover, methods in Go are more general than in C++ or Java. They can be defined for any sort of data, not just structs. Also, the lack of type hierarchy makes objects in Go feel much more lightweight than in language such as C++ or Java.